What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Fred Thorns Gaming. I got Lineage 2 Revolution on your screen right now. We have a Fortress Siege going on today. This is number 32 in the series. It is Impact versus Eorza. I couldn't get any Eorza videos done pre-merge. Now I get nothing but Eorza videos done. Super awesome. Let's head into and see what is going on with this battle. There is Eorza at number 2, 197 point. Four, six million combat power in totality for their clan. There is Impact at number four, 188.85 combat power in totality for their clan. That is, okay, an Arden buff just went off. That is about nine million, give or take, maybe 8.8, .8, whatever. That doesn't bode very well for Impact. Eorza does very well, regardless of whether or not they're on top or they're on the bottom. Uh, but here they're on top by a lot, so that that's not looking too good for Impact. Let's see what uh, yours are paid for this fight. This is for a B-grade fortress. Yours are paid 120,121,121 Adena for the right to challenge Impact. Now, interestingly enough, yours are, is in the free V3 way. Impact is in the TSA. Here's another real fight. Tiny Herb in the TSA. Whiskey in the V3 way. We're talking about alliances here. The main event in V3 way. Brotherhood in the TSA. All three real fights today are against two alliances going against each other. Let's head into the battlefield. No, I did not participate in a Fortress Siege. Impact in the blue on the top. The defenders looking for their leader. I guess they're all, they're all coming in right now. I even waited a little bit. Got less than two minutes. Looking for Impact's leader. I don't think I've gotten Impact yet. Of course, it's like, what, week three? All right, there is their leader. He or she needs to move so I can read that name. Hurry up. The hardened buff, off, hard, bleh, bleh. The hardened buff went off. I'm not going to say late, but later than normal. 60 seconds before we begin, I still can't see this guy. Good luck to Impact. I don't know who the Impact's leader is because they're just standing around. But we need to head on down to Eorza. Eorza are the attackers, and that is whom I will be following. I should already know their leader. I just got them the other week, right? 30 seconds before we begin. Boy, I'm having a terrible time today trying to get the names of these leaders. 10 seconds before we begin. 5 seconds before we begin. And here we go. Fort Siege, number 32, Yorza, Fighting Impact. I truly don't believe that this fight's going to go the distance. But a lot of people said, don't count Impact out. We're going to see something about that. Yorza has already gotten their, <laughs> their Alter Imprints. They're going to come up here. I, I truly don't see Impact having any chance whatsoever. There is Impact's leader, Moop. M O O P. Mo or, uh, impact interrupted. Yorza surrounding this. I think we're going to have a fast fight here, but that's good. That means I can go back to drinking. Yorza over halfway. Yorza three seconds. Interrupted. Wow, good interruption by impact. But Yorza is trying again. Aralim, obviously. The leader of Eorza, who now have three seconds, two seconds, one second, 30% buff for the next two minutes and ten seconds. So for once, a team finally didn't concentrate on a gate and instead concentrated on getting the altar imprints. And there goes the non-spawn gate of impact. Eorza, I think they're totally dominating this fight right now. Uh, that was very fast to have gotten that 30% buff. The blue team's gate has been destroyed. And that would be the, the spawn gate of Impact. Eorza is just trying to embarrass Impact right now. And they're doing a good job of it. As I was saying, that was, that was the fastest I've ever seen somebody get a 30% buff. Probably in any video that I've been recording for almost a year now for this game.
What is the Orza doing? Oh, there's Aralim. Got about five seconds or so. There goes a the Holy Artifact Defense Tower number one of impact. Erlen unable to resurrect if Erlen had it or not. I do not know. But Impact was deep on defense there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are three minutes into this fight. And Eorza has already taken down both the spawn gate, non-spawn gate of impact, a holy artifact defense tower of impact, and has gotten about 10 seconds of time against impact and getting more. Oh, let's not forget that yours are also got the 30% buff in like a minute and a half or less. And they're trying to go for it again. Aerolim is up and down, up and down. Two seconds, one second. 30% buff for 27 seconds. There goes the Holy Artifact Defense Tower number two of Impact. By the way, I am recording this particular battle because that is the battle that won the poll. And there is Paris Hilton, otherwise known as Lysi. Shout out to Lysi. Shout out to Weapon X. Happy birthday to the both of you. I would also like to do a shout out to Lady Death from the game World of Kings. She is my game wife. She's also super hot. And I don't really think she uh, she watches these L2R videos. So I can say that. I don't think anybody's going to say anything. Eorza, two minutes and eight seconds of a 30% buff. But a shout out to Lady Death, nonetheless. I actually had to come down here and look to see what was actually going on. Impact is completely mostly, wow, that got kind of high, mostly on defense right now. That was another five seconds. They must be up by 25 seconds right now. And getting more. If this battle goes the distance, Eorza will probably win by Holy Artifact imprint time by 150 seconds or more. Heirloom is down, Heirloom is up. <laughs> down, up, down, up. Sounds like a Contra cheat code, doesn't it? Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Blue is just reeling right now. But they are doing a good job so far of not having the battle ended via Holy Artifact imprint time. Yorza with five seconds remaining on their 30% buff. The altar of wind has been re It almost looked like Eorza was trying to, to do a little open siegeness and keep Impact from coming out of their spawn gate. The altar of wind has been Eorza, 30% buff, 26 seconds. They're already up here ready to get, get it again.
I am pretty sure we know how this battle is going to end. But again, never know. It's not over until it's over. The altar of Earth and printing has been reset. There's just no impact around here. Or there was at least one, because they managed to interrupt Yorza. People are firing off fireworks. That is hilarious. Yorza, three seconds. Two, no, interrupted. Good interruption by impact. Yorza having a little trouble this time around getting that 30% buff. Impact trying to get their own altar again. Interrupted. Tried again. And interrupted it again. Yorza attempting. Oh no! The non spawn gate of Yorza has been taken down, and the spawn gate of Yorza has been taken down. Well, Yorza still has two Holy Artifact defense towers. And about 30 or so seconds of Holy Artifact imprint time. One second remaining, 30% buff in the next 60 seconds for Yorza. We're just waiting. We are just waiting. The altar of Earth has been imprinted. Big battle going on down there. I wonder what's going on. The red team has started I don't know, of course, as soon as I leave, the they, they decided to start imprinting. That was good timing, Errol, and I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. You waited until they were, like, <laughs> just a little bit walking away, and then you got up and got, like, three more seconds. That was super funny. It's not like you actually need it. Less than 20 minutes remaining in this battle. You are trying to get that 30% buff. Two seconds, one second. 30% buff for the next two minutes. Impact. Not even able to get down into Yours' base and even get a tenth of a second of Holy Artifact imprint time right now. And there is Check checking out the ground. Here comes the Orza trying to push their way into the spawn gate of impact, keeping them occupied, potentially allowing Erolim to waltz in. The red team has started imprinting the holy artifact. The red team has failed to imprint the holy artifact. Yorza, I really hope I don't sit here and watch a 30-minute fight where you guys can't actually win this in totality, where you're literally going to drag this out. Hey, maybe they heard me. Ah, because they they have surrounded this this holy artifact. There is no blue. Ten seconds, nine seconds, seven seconds. Erlim all by himself. Three seconds. One second, and congratulations to Iorza for successfully defeating Impact for a B-grade fortress. And congratulations to Flausch for taking number one. Iorza taking the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, 
Tied for 14, 15, 16, all the way up to 16. Top 16. That is outstanding. You was a great fight. That was to be expected. It took a little longer than I anticipated, but I anticipated a full Holy Artifact imprint and not a long, extended, and protracted fight. Wow, that was rather fast. That's a lot of dashes there on impact side. All righty. Well, come on out here. We'll see how the rest of V3 way did. Whiskey won. I don't even remember who these people belong to. Yours are one. Brotherhood won. Well, the TSA won that battle. So congratulations. It was not a total sweep by V3 way. I think Whiskey is in V3 way, though. And obviously yours it is. So, hey, Brotherhood, thumbs up for helping to avoid the three-fight sweep of V3 Way versus the TSA. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And come hang out with me on Discord. All the information you need is down below. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again.